is so much that we can do to honor and celebrate black history this month. Reverend Dr. Najuma Smith Pollard is the program director of the Cecil Murray Center at USC and pastor of Word at Encouragement Church. And she now joins us live to talk about all of this. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Good morning and thank you for having me. It's great to be with you all today. Yeah, so well, you know this year's Black History Month theme is Black Health and Wellness, acknowledging the contributions of black medical practitioners and also as kind of a way to examine inequities and health disparities that we're still seeing today. So I wanna ask you first, what are the big issues you still see happening right now? Well, I think one of the things that we have to uh, recognize is that health happens within the context of race and racism. And what the pandemic did, it widened the gap in those issues. And so what we're seeing still is how the pandemic, you know, adversely impacted Black and Latinx communities and how the future, you know, our, the future of our children are at stake because of the way in which, you know, we, ha we saw the increase of death, we saw the increase of disease within Black and Latinx communities. And so, you know, we have to continue to um, work, you know, continue to fight and work on it because the, the, these, these, the challenge that we saw in the last couple of years will impact our children over the next several years. Dr. Smith Pollard, we know that black businesses are especially important. What are some of the ways that we can support the black business community and not just during the month of February? I, absolutely. I mean, all of us are, you know, at some point are creatures of habit. We have our stores that we enjoy going to that search items that we particularly like to to purchase. And so why not make a black business that your go to for particular items, for particular foods? Um, also, in the age of social media, it doesn't take but a moment to post a place that an African-American owned business or, about, you know, where you are frequenting and post that on your social media so other people are made aware of, of places they can shop at, places they can eat at. And so there's ways to do it. I think it's about being really conscious and intentional. Um, but, you know, use use what is natural to us, which, are, which is our fact that we're creatures of a habit and pick a store, you know, a market, a clothing store that's owned by an African-American man or woman or family and make that your go to place. And you're a pastor. You're in the community. You know, tell us how you believe what you call leaning into the community, what people can do and how that benefits everybody consistently. Well, I mean, the reality is, is that we are all interconnected. And one of the things that Dr. King said is that injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. And so when we lean in to improve our communities or improve, uh, even if it's not directly impacting you in a social justice issue for another community, we all benefit because we're interconnected. I, even though I may not live in your zip code or we may not live in the same neighborhood, but what happens in my neighborhood eventually will impact your neighborhood and vice versa. And so it's about having the mindset of we and us and not just me and myself alone. And so we have to continue to think in that way. Um, and Black History Month allows us, you know, gives us that opportunity with the focus, but it should, it should happen throughout the year. It should happen throughout the year. Thank you so much, Dr. Najuma Smith-Pollard. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you. Have a great day. You as, as well. well.